Hi, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Seven stroke roll, can it be played beyond the pad and or snare drum? The answer is yes. Indeed you can. Uh, please watch the video on how to play a seven stroke roll before this and prior to that. Please watch how to play a roll and plus all the other basic core um, videos on how to play uh, in general this system which is martial arts uh, wisdom meaning how to move our bodies uh, which has been learned from thousands of years of training um, uh, people have been training and discovering how to move the body best in martial arts uh, incorporated to the drums plus using NLP which is such a cool system of the mind they really encourage you to learn some NLP and uh, we're teaching you the NLP uh, techniques in these video series. Um, techniques to uh, kind of free yourself, uh, which frees your body, frees your, your ability to express yourself on your, in the drums and in life in general. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's kind of like comfort zones. Uh, you want to make them larger and larger and eventually collapse them so that there's no comfort zones there at all uh, on the drums and in life. Yeah, so uh, life is short, you're going to be dead forever. So rock and roll, let's go for it, okay? Yeah. So the seven stroke roll. What can we do with it besides just our dun, 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 on a snare drum or whatever? Uh, well, we certainly can um, play it, let's say for instance, on the toms, right? So, so if we had a beat, something like I did was I started with so one, two, three, four. We could end as well. So if the hi hat was on one, two, three, four, it could be one, two, three, four. Right, depending on what you want to do with that. So starting on the hi hat or ending with the hi hat. I'll use my bass drum to so hear it better. Starting with the bass drum. Ending on the bass drum. So now it's so one or one. So one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, one, two, three, and four, whatever. Okay? Um, so we can change it up. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and I go off the right. Uh, we could mix it up on the toms, right? Like different toms. Mixing up toms and snare. Um, maybe using the rim of a tom as an accent. So, or the rim of the snare. on a hi-hat. Why not? Da, 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 da. That's a fill. Right? Why not? Some really nice sounds. What if we broke it up hi-hat and cymbal. Something like that. So maybe we want to clam on the last one. Kind of cool sound. Well, don't clam. Again with a 
feet. That kind of thing. Um, a lot of permutations, right? Now, if you have a cowbell, it has a, something called a pin tech uh, thing bat. So, if I did left hand lead, dot, 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 dot. Okay, whatever. Uh, even if it bounces a bit, the cowbell does so. There's a lot of messing around you can do with seven stroke roll, much beyond this. So, the, you know, mine can go, you know, just on the ride cymbal, right? Good drums out there, okay? So, uh, gotta be a little bit different sometimes, you know. Uh, think outside the box and uh, uh, remember some of the greatest drummers of all time weren't uh, the greatest drummers of all time. <laughs> what I mean by that is uh, the Charlie Watts and the uh, Ringo Stars and such um, played in probably the most two largest and significant bands in history. Now, I didn't say they're the best, but that's all subjective. What I said was the most significant bands. So the Beatles, did they influence music more than any other band? Probably. Um, I'd say they're the best because that's subjective. Um, us older people, maybe we're a little more in tune with that. Doesn't mean that you young guys, you know, because you may think the Beatles are old, old bogey stuff. That's fine. Uh, I encourage you ever to listen, to, really listen, and listen to 40s music and 30s music and classical music. Listen to music. Learn. Listen to all of it. I hate country music. You know what? Listen to it. There's some good stuff in there. Um, those guys are professional musicians playing really good stuff sometimes. I hate um, jazz. You know what? There's incredible stuff going on in jazz. So listen to it. Just force yourself. Listen to some of it. Um, some Latin rhythms. Uh, learn some Latin rhythms on the drum, which I'm going to be demonstrating here uh, eventually and doing most of the Latin rhythms for free, just showing you. We're going to be developing a, also a, uh, an entire video series for sale on Latin rhythms and African rhythms and such, but, uh, you know, just learn some and you'll find that you'll be a much better drummer. Okay, so the seven stroke roll played on the kit, some ideas, just goofing around. Uh, it's getting late, I'm getting tired, so I'm going to stop filming for tonight, I think, after this. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed and uh, have a great day. <laughs>